In a world where things aren't quite as they seem, a new student transfers to Centennial High School just before winter break. But his backstory remains a mystery. In this C-100 Christmas special, a group of curious students set out to seek the truth that hides behind this mystery. Join us in a tale of love, mystery, betrayal, and Santa? Our mission is to educate, entertain, and elevate through student-created video promoting school spirit and telling the stories of the diverse Centennial community. For over 20 years, we have played, created, studied, and dreamed. Late nights and early mornings don't slow us down. We are united. We are leaders on the field and in the classroom. We are motivated. We are ambitious. We are confident. We are the future. We are Centennial. Hello Centennial, it's your principal Dr. Newbold here and I just wanted to say goodbye to you. It is the end of yet another year. 2020 is on the horizon. 2019 is almost in the books and we are gearing up for second semester. But before we do that, it's time for you all to let your hair down, relax, enjoy time with friends and family. For those of you who celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. For those who celebrate Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah. And those who don't celebrate either of those, this is time for you to just unwind, relax, recharge, and come back ready to close out the school year in January. We look forward to seeing you. Take care. big city rider known for her lack of Christmas spirit. I told you guys I didn't want any of this Christmas crap in my office. It's ruining my writing juju. A sensitive guy in plaid who heals sick kids. It's okay, Timmy. Santa Claus will get you a new pair of lungs this year. I guarantee it. Unknowingly, we'll cross paths in the worst way possible. Hello? Natalie. Your mom fell down the stairs and is in the hospital. You need to come home to Smallville immediately. Hello, Natalie. I'm your mother's doctor, but you can call me Dr. Jake. Hey, uh, do you need someone to talk to? But little do they know, this mother's accident would bring these two together. This really helped me, Dr. Jake. I'm glad it did. Will her mother make it to see Christmas Day? And will the sensitive guy in plaid teach the big city writer how to love Christmas? Hi, I'm Mr. Beekner. Your word of the week is cynical, which means believing the worst in human nature. Dude, dude, check this out. 
That's really not okay. Yeah, I think they're gonna nuke us or something. That's so cynical of you to say. No, but it says it's a warning right here. Yeah, but still, you need to learn to be less cynical. Wait, wait, no, wait! Hey, Vsauce, James here. Your number of the week is 327. That's a cool number. It is a cool number, isn't it? It is. It is a pretty good number. Yes, yeah. indeed. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's really important to get enough sleep. Um, because if you can't, if you're not sleeping, I know there's a lot going on right now and there are a lot of projects to do, but if you're not getting your sleep, your brain is going to fog and you're not going to be able to um, think on finals day. Um, I review <laughs> using like Quizlet and um, I like do flashcards because writing makes you remember it more. Just keep up with the work. Most teachers give study guides. Use the study guide. Go through the study guide step by step. Fill it out. If they have a study guide that you can hand in for extra points, do that. That's free points. Okay, I like to make quizlets to help me review and just make sure I go over all the material that my teacher gives me. Um, probably the same advice most people give, like you gotta get some sleep. You can't just try and pull all-nighters every night before the final. You really do have to get some sleep and you need some real food. You also see junk food, you need some water and some nutritious things. It's against human nature to look for the things that we don't know how to do, but if you focus on the questions that you can't answer, you are going to discover most of the material that you don't understand faster. So the advice I would give other students that are just taking their finals would be like review all your quizlets that your teachers have given you, look over all the information they've given you, and take your time this weekend to go over it and make sure you're fully prepared before walking into the test because the worst thing that can happen is that you're not fully prepared. Study, um, go ask your teacher if they have any um, strategies that you can do, um, get a good night's sleep. Um, eat a good breakfast, and think positive thoughts. Chopper, do you like Mike Pence? Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like Hamish. I feel like a jellyfish. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I made that lyric to uh, illustrate the uh, diligent lifestyle and the hardships of a young boy in the Industrial Revolution. And uh, it took a lot of emotion and hard work to get that out of me, so it was a pretty important line. Hi, I'm Elliot Bell. Most know me as YBF Lutlio. And this is the day in the life of a SoundCloud rapper. This is my second ride. I just bought it and it really gets all the girls. It's nice to have a vehicle without a surrounding unit because, you know, it's free, just like my music and uh, I just turned vegan too, as of two weeks. This really uh, encapsulates the energy I'm going for. I mean, my creative process is pretty simple. You know, it always starts with a warm bath with uh, bubbles. Also some goldfish flavor blasted. After that, it's all about lighting some uh, Yankee Candle Company candles. I uh, recommend Eucalyptus Rain. Hey yo, so this is my reflection pond, bro. I got this idea from Disney's Milan. And sometimes I just like to sit here with my hands behind my back, look at the baby geese walk around, frolic. Reminds me of my youth. Mm. Hey, all my water be fresh, hey, cause I'm so fresh, hey. You know, above like the environment and the warm bath and the Yankee Candle and all my favorite musicians, the most important thing, number one, is my family. And you know, they don't really understand what I do or like they try to understand. But, you know, I feel like they still love me. Yeah, hey, ooh, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey. I mean, I have to say my biggest competition right now is uh, Kanye West, because he's, you know, he also appeals to, like, the religious audience, and uh, it's kind of hard to top his stuff sometimes, but I feel like I got it. And my most recent album that dropped 
maybe two weeks ago. And I worked with people like System 66, pretty cool. Um, AKA AJ, he's not too bad. And you can check it out on SoundCloud, by the way. Rappers are lonely. Why the Flitlio? Shoot on sight, that's how I like. Look at around and I create a plate. Rappers are fast, I'm losing my sight. I cannot keep you, you at night. Hop in the whip on the skull, ayy. Cook it be selling the snow, ayy. I got a black but no roll, ayy. Kicking the pistols, you already know. I rap like a preacher, I got the feature. Murder gang show up in the head of the. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I... Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just watching my favorite movie of all time, Shrek. He is such a great character, isn't he, Kagan? Yeah, I love, I love Shrek. Isn't he good? Think, yeah, it's so, it. it's such a good movie. movie. You know what I love about Shrek? What? He is the color of onion green. Onion green. It is such a good color, right? Such a good color. Such a great. Your color, color of the week is onion green. Good morning, Centennial. My name is Allison Santa, and I was once a knight just like you. I graduated in 2016, and right before that, I was sitting in the exact seats that you're watching this from. I decided to take an unusual path after high school that led me to travel to 19 different countries and complete over 400 volunteer hours. That included anything from gardening, painting murals, working in elderly homes with refugees, or even going to schools with students just like you. While traveling, these incredible experiences taught me more in depth about myself and how passionate I am about people and the things that are happening all around the world. Something I learned about that I really connected to were the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals. The topics they discuss range anywhere from poverty and education, inequalities of all sorts, economic growth, clean energy, and other ecological concerns. I've become determined to use the privilege that I've had of volunteering and traveling around to benefit our own little community by creating these different volunteer opportunities that would be impossible without your help. If this sounds intriguing to you and you're interested in learning more, please visit Mr. Hennessy's class to make sure you get a pass for the lunch periods on Wednesday, January 8th and January 15th. I can't wait to meet some of you guys and see how you challenge yourselves. Good luck with finals, enjoy the holidays, and go Knights! Hi, I'm Cody Gage Cole. And I'm Chris Gresham. And this is your weekly update. In recent news, recent political news, Donald Trump has become a, a peach. I, I know. Surprising, right? He, um, I think it matches his skin tone perfectly. His, I think it really brings out his eyes. I think it's just amazing. And then, also, he might not be our president soon. In other news, the German club is having a camp food drive. But that's impossible. We all know food can't drive. It's Hallmark season, which means there's going to be Hallmark movies out every single day until Christmas, which is great. But I think that the, the, the movies this year are, are a little similar to the year before. And then the year before that, and, and before that, and before that. And then also, I think Netflix is starting to catch up. Last week, Tatango finally decided to get a mascot. Only took him about uh, 50 years. And ladies and gentlemen, he is here on the show with us tonight. Give it up for Nigel the Knight! How are you doing today, Nigel? <laughs> That's so funny. So, Nigel, do you have any hobbies? Wow, that, that's fascinating. I like that. And do uh, you have anything you want to say to our audience? Thank you, Nigel. That was very great. Nigel the night, everybody. That's been your weekly update. I'm Cody Gage Cole. And I'm Chris Gratcham. So what do you do after work, Cody? Well, uh, I think I'm going to eat some donuts. Oh, really? Yeah. Some kind of contest or something? Oh, dude, I hear about it. I, I entered a contest last week. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm about to go to one right now. Yeah, me too. Well, right. it's probably not the same. I'll see you afterward. All right. Hello, and welcome to Law vs. Ride. Today, we have returning champions Cody Gage Cole and Chris Gretchen. Cody? Chris? What are you doing here? This is the donut competition I was talking about. Oh, sick, dude. Oh, thanks. All this right. is the same one I signed up for. Okay. Because this is the final episode of Law vs. Rise during this decade, um, they will be competing to take back the other person's previously earned point. Mm -hmm. So whoever wins will put their team in the lead. All right, let's get started. Do we have a timer? <laughs> I'm 
The winner of this episode okay, Cody. and the team in the lead is the rise. rise. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Cody. No! Oh, man. Blaze has provided me a new sense of independence. It's my second family, and without them, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. Blaze sports give kids who have special needs a chance to do some of the same things that everybody else do in life. The best thing about Blaze is seeing what it does for our athletes. You know, I've, I've seen kids come out of their shells. I've seen kids become competitive again. Uh, it just it helps so much with with confidence, and um, they're they're able to bring that to all aspects of their life. It's just a wonderful, wonderful um, experience for for everyone involved. This bird of the week is dedicated to Carol Spinney the man behind Big Bird, who unfortunately died on December 8th, 2019 from dystonia. Your bird of the week is Big Bird. Welcome to Cooking with Mr. Robleski. I'm joined here with special sous chef, Daniel Cartolino. I'm gonna start off with something really simple, a bowl of cereal. This is something you can make for your friends and family over the holidays. It's gonna get a lot of people really excited. I'm gonna walk you through the steps real quick. Uh, this determines your AP World final grade. So you're gonna to wanna to start off with milk first. Every good bowl of cereal has milk first. You can see we've got almond milk because we don't wanna harm any cows. You can stop anytime, perfect. Now you wanna put in, has so much milk. Good, yep, that's good. It's close, it's very close. There's about 16 Cheerios and two cups of milk. How about this time we start with cereal? Okay, excellent. Now it's too much cereal, Daniel. Daniel, it's too much cereal. This time I'm feeling really good about okay. what we're gonna do. Right. Appropriate amount of cereal, okay. appropriate amount of milk. It's gonna be really good, I feel this. Good, excellent. That's perfect, that's great. We're gonna, you know, just add like a strawberry or two to garnish it off. Oh, that's gonna be ideal. Yeah, take, okay. We're on our fourth bowl of a very easy meal. Good. No, where did you even get hot sauce? Daniel, why would? Fifth try. <clears throat> okay. Fifth try, Daniel. This is to determine your grade. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> you're just ignoring the ball. <laughs> How'd you even get in here? Why would it need to be warmer, Daniel? You fail. Have, have fun in Hennessy's class, okay? It's great in there. This holiday season on the Hallmark Channel. Hey, Linda, can you go to prom with 
prosecutor's office. Yeah. Big city New York lawyer Macy has her life all planned out. But some unexpected Christmas news for mom throws her a case. She might not win. Macy, come home. Your father's sick. Mom! Hi. I came as fast as I could. Where's dad? I just wish there was something I could do. Oh my god, he's sick. Is this baking competition a recipe for disaster? Will Macy be able to save her father? Or is two cooks just enough for this kitchen? Vienne Borg, Camden Bowers, Molly Heiser, and Wiley Mack star in A Christmas Miracle, tonight at 8, 7 central on the Hallmark Channel, the heart of TV. Asap Steve, Moon Goblin, you have proved yourself worthy, I have a lick for you. What's the job? Funky Woker Bank has an artifact that I need, a do-rag. You must break into the NAACP headquarters and take it from How me. much are we talking? Your reward, 14k. How dangerous is this? I sent Mujib, my most trusted agent initially. He has not returned. Rats! I'm ready. For anything. The risk is your life. We'll take it. Fourteen k What about Mujib? I don't care about Mujib. We'll do it. Hey man, we're gonna be fat stacking binges, yo. Mom, I'm about to do something very dangerous. I just wanted to let you know I love you dearly. Hi, I'm Hannah, and you're watching the law. Period. Yep.
Hello, buddy. Welcome home. What do we, what, what do we do? If you wanna, you know, make any changes, you know, just run it by me. I'm pretty flexible. You look like a, a Charlie. Is that, is that? That's why we gotta be careful, Charlie. We're good. We're good. You gotta just, just like, I don't really no wrong way to sit in a chair, Charlie. You just kind of just sit, you know? I think, I think we're gonna get along just fine. Good night. How do you spell Hanukkah? Uh, H-A-U-K-K-H-U-H. H-A-N, nope, C-H-A-N-N-U-K-A-H? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> How do you spell Hanukkah? Gremlin's a Christmas movie. Do you think it is? Yes. Uh, yes. Home Alone 1 or Home Alone 2? Uh, 1. One. Uh, Home Alone one. That was original. Uh, Christmas sweater. It's ugly or cool. Ugly, but cool. What did they get on the fifth day of Christmas? Five golden rings. What is the gift on the seventh day of Christmas? Uh, swans a swimming. Yes. Yes. What is the gift on the tenth day of Christmas? Um, parrot. What did the person get on the twelfth day of Christmas? Like in the song? Mm-hmm. Did you figure it out yet? Um, is it like the drummer voice or something? <laughs> it is? Oh my gosh, I knew it. You're so smart. We're not done. Hi, my name is Mrs. Ma and you're watching The Loft. Attention all students, finals are next week. Monday, we don't have any finals. Tuesday is a half day, and we still don't have finals. Wednesday is your first and second period. Thursday is your third and fourth. And Friday is your fifth and sixth. All right.
if the hair says to the client it doesn't want to go, would it be considered malpractice? Will you please repeat the question? <laughs> if the hair says to the client it doesn't want to go, would it be considered malpractice? If the hair says to the client? So somebody's undergoing hair removal? Sometimes snow grows in the summer in some places. Is that a question? Is that a question? Antarctica? The Hogwarts Express is leaving in T minus 22 minutes. Is it snowing in Poland? No. Because Poland's in near Australia. Okay, so only sometimes I can have the good remote for the channels, right? Huh? What? <laughs> okay, so everyone knows the sleigh takes diesel, but is tank capacity or gifts per gallon more impressive? Gifts per gallon. And why is that? I don't know. Uh, okay, so the longer the Christmas tree, the more inverted it becomes? Um, <laughs> I guess so, if you want to say that. What do you call an elf with no eyes? Elf with no eyes? <laughs> so wild tunes only count half as much on Christmas. Hell uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying like shoot, Red Rudolph, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to Rudolph, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so if Rudolph were to embezzle the North Pole, what would the punishment be? <laughs> well, he's the reindeer, wouldn't he? I don't know. Go to jail. Nothing. Right. E evaluate my top picks. Candy, candy cane, candy corn, and syrup. Candy if it's chocolate. Chocolate? Did you say chocolate? Listen very carefully. Cookies are flavored for different homes. Okay. This looks really boring, but this can turn into this. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can all these stacks of paper turn into income? Well, with the power of accounting, anything is possible. We're not here to teach you the arts, but to inspire you to find your way to success. Look at all those basketball players. Some of them are young accountants. Accounting helps them manage a stable flow of income while managing what's going in and what's coming out. As you can see, accounting looks difficult, but in reality, it's not much of a hassle. How can we learn accounting? Well, you can drop by the J Hall and check J04, which is Dr. Pagura's classroom. There, you can learn all about accounting and join next year. In the meantime, they need you out there. Yeah, okay, thank you. Remember, learn about accounting. Drop by Dr. Padilla's classroom. See you next time.